in this lecture we will be discussing even and odd functions next section we have to discuss is fourier cosine and sine series before that we need to know what is even and odd functions a function f of x is said to be even if f of minus x is equal to f of x itself for example f of x equal to x square it is an even function because we have f of minus x if f of x equal to x square then f of minus x is nothing but minus x whole square this is equal to x square itself that is f of x itself so f of minus x equal to f of x for any x so this x square is an even function another example x power 4 is an even function x power 6 is an even function x power 8 is an even function etc all the even powers of x are even functions another example uh, f of x is equal to cos x it is an even function because f of minus x is equal to cos of minus x we know cos of minus x is equal to cos x therefore this is equal to f of x so f of x uh, cos x equal to cos x is an odd function another one f of x equal to e power x square it is also an even function because f of minus x here is is nothing but e minus x whole square that is e power x square this is equal to f of x so these are some examples for a uh, even function now odd function f of x is said to be odd or f of x is an odd function if f of minus x is equal to negative of f of x if f of minus x is equal to negative of f of x then f of x is said to be odd and if f of minus x equal to f of x itself then it is said to be an even function so an example of an odd function is nothing but you can take this as f of x is equal to x is an odd function because f of minus x here is nothing but minus x which is equal to minus of f of x because f of x equal to x so since f of minus x equal to minus of f of x we have this function x is an odd function another examples are uh, x cube x power 5 x power 7 etc are odd functions now what about this f of x equal to sin x it's a, it's a, uh, it's an odd function because f of minus x is equal to sin of minus x which is nothing but we know sin of minus x is equal to minus of sin x that is minus of f of x so f of minus x is equal to minus of f of x though so uh, we have uh, the sin x is an odd function so here we discussed that f of x equal to e power x square is an even function but what about the function f of x equal to e power x this function is neither an even function nor an odd function that is f of x equal to e power x is neither even nor odd because f of minus x is equal to e power minus x which we can we cannot write this as negative of or e power x also if we can we cannot write it as negative of e power x if we can write this as e power x then we can say that it is uh, an even function but we cannot write this e power minus x is not equal to e power x so it is not an even function uh, and also we e power minus x is not equal to negative of e power x so it is not an odd function also therefore it is not an even function from this we get it is not odd function right similarly we have f of x equal to e power minus x is neither odd nor even we can have the same justification as this for this function also so this e power minus x is neither even nor odd now we can think about the graphs of an even function and odd functions we have the, an important result that graph of an even function is symmetric about y axis and graph of an odd function is symmetric about the origin 
graph of an even function is symmetric about the y axis graph of an odd function is symmetric about origin for example we know uh, uh, y equal to f of x equal to x square is an even function we know this is an even function so if you are trying to uh, draw the graph of this function we know uh, it will be like this this is equal y equal to x square if it is x and this is y axis so we can we can see from this graph it is symmetric about this y axis so for this point we have a point like this that is symmetric about y axis and for this we can find a, a, a point like this on the same curve that is this distance are equal etc so this function or graph of this function is symmetric about y axis so if you are taking graph of any even function it will be symmetric about y axis another function we know uh, mod x f of x equal to mod x is an even function because f of minus x equal to modulus of minus x which is nothing nothing but uh, mod x itself so we have this is an even function we know the graph of that function will be like this so it's, it's again uh, symmetric about this y axis right also cos x is an even o, o, even function we already discussed that so we know the graph of the function cos x is nothing but like this okay so this is also uh, symmetric about uh, y axis now what about the uh, graph of the function uh, an odd function so uh, you know graph of an odd function is symmetric about the origin for example if you are taking the graph of uh, x cube f of x equal to x cube is an uh, old function so if you are draw, trying to draw the graph of that function you know uh, the graph of x cube is nothing but like this this will be the graph of the function y equal to x cube so for any point on this uh, graph we can see point symmetric with respect to the origin that is we for this point we can see a point like here that is a is symmetric uh, with respect to origin and for this uh, point we can see a point like here etc so it is symmetric about origin but in the case of uh, even function for this uh, point we can see uh, a symmetric image or symmetric point uh, with respect to the y axis like that so uh, x cube is an odd function another function is we know uh, sin x sin x is again an odd function so we have the graph of the sin x is nothing but like this right so here also we can see that this point is uh, this graph is symmetric about this point this point is the origin because uh, for this point we can see a point like here from origin and if you are taking the point here, we, we, we can choose a corresponding point like here. And for this point, we can choose another point here, etc. So it will be symmetric about uh, origin. For this point, we can see this point, etc. So symmetric about origin. Now we can discuss some important properties of even and odd functions. First one is the product of two even functions is even. The product of two even functions is even. Second one is the product of two odd functions is even. For example, if you are taking two even functions, we know x square and x square. x square is an even function. Again, x square is an even function for x power 4. So multiplying this, we get x power 6. So this is again an even function. Second one, the product of two odd functions is an even function. That is the first one was a product of two even functions is again an even function. But the product of two odd functions is an even function for example taking x and x you know x is an odd function and again x is a, uh, an odd function so multiplying this we get x square so x square is an even function another one is the product of an even function and an odd function so product of an even function and an odd function will be an odd function for example taking x square and x x is an odd function and x square is an even function so multiplying this we get x cube you know this is an uh, odd function the fourth one is the sum or difference of even functions is again even if we, ha we have two even functions then their sum or difference is again an even function and the sum or difference of two odd functions is again an odd function clear 
and we have if f is an even function then the integral from minus a to a f of x dx is equal to 2 into integral 0 to a f of x dx that is this integral from minus a to a f of x dx will be equal to the 2 into that is twice the integral of this that is integral from 0 to a this is from 0 to a f of x dx if e, f of x is even now if f of x is odd then we have the integral minus a to a f of x dx is 0 so this 2 can be used for finding the uh, in Fourier series we can use these two formula okay so if we need to prove this first one the product of two even functions is again an even function let f of x and g of x be even functions suppose f of x and g of x are even functions then by definition of even functions we have f of minus x equal to f of x because f of x is an even function and g of minus x is again g of x because g of x is an even function now we have to show that the product of two uh, product of these two functions will be even now let h of x equal to f of x into g of x now we have to show that this h of x is an even function therefore h of minus x is equal to f of minus x into g of minus x this is equal to f of minus x is nothing but f of x itself because f of x is even and g of minus x is g of x so this is nothing but h of x itself so h of minus x is equal to h of x therefore h of x is uh, even function therefore f of x into g of x is even function so if f of x and g of x are even functions then we have their product is again an even function in a similar way we can prove that the second one that is uh, uh, if two functions are odd then their product is, is, is an uh, even function that is if g f of x and g of x are odd functions then we have f of minus x equal to minus of f of x g of minus x equal to minus of g of x and then h of x equal to f of x into g of x implies h of minus x is nothing but negative of f of x into negative of g of x that will be h of x itself so that is an even function so in that way you can uh, prove the other properties that means uh, you you can try these uh, properties by yourself.